zone stats at the midway point of the fight. To the left, the punches landed on Alexander. See, Ketelnik has gone predominantly to the head. He's not used the body so far in the fight. Ketelnik has landed 110 total punches, 47 power shots out of 162. To the right, Alexander's punches landed on Ketelnik. He's thrown 544. He's only hit with 104, 19% according to CompuBox. His jab is only at 11%. Katelik had a very good round number six. Let's check in with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. Okay, Bob. Five rounds to one. 59-55, Devin Alexander. Bob, I tell you, for five rounds, I thought you just couldn't take it away from Devin Alexander the way he was working. I mean, the guy kept constantly pumping that right jab, using the straight left hand, moving. I think he probably constantly threw one punch at a time, which bothered me. I thought he should have, you know, thrown a combination, come back with a left hook after he landed that straight right hand. But in the fifth round, the work rate must have got to Devin Alexander because he really slowed up. And once he slowed up, Katalik took the offensive and, and nailed him with some horrendous right hands. Five to one, Devin Alexander. But Harold That's says, interesting. Yeah, it, it, that may be true. Because I have a 3-3, three, three, uh -huh. but Harold's a professional judge, and I'm just the guy watching. And, and, and we're here calling the fight, and Harold is sitting here scoring the fight. There's a difference. But it, it may be true that Katalik is not following up with advantage at times and Devin was throwing the jab a lot but Devin wasn't landing the jab a lot and Katelnik was landing those straight right hands and that time Katelnik landed Alexander with a pretty good shot their feet got tied up I think Katelnik actually stepped on his foot which kept Alexander in range Alexander starting to throw that right hand to the body the hook to the body to some good effect might be wise to stay with it He's trying to turn Katalnik to come at him from angles, but he's doing it from a range where it's not so, from, from a distance, a wide distance, where it's not so easy to step around the guy. Good jab again by Katalnik. Kind of keeps Alexander at bay. By the way, I checked with referee Vic Dracula, and that cut that Alexander sustained a couple of rounds ago in round four was from an accidental clash of heads. Alexander throwing a lot of ones and one twos. Jab and you know, jab right hand and jab left hand. This is the southpaw. They're not really putting a bunch of punches together. You haven't seen him string three, four, five shots. And, and primarily that's because the jab isn't landing that much to start the combination. Just to finish up why that's important, if this fight was to get stopped, if that cut got worse because it was an accidental clash, they'd go to the scorecards. Good counter right hand from Kitelnik as Alexander tries to throw a combination right back. You know, and Alexander, I think, is the better puncher of the two. But Kitelnik is throwing them so nice and easy. And they're, they're landing well. They're well placed. Yep. You like the busier guy or the more accurate guy? You like the busier guy, you like Alexander. More accurate, you like Katelnik. Look, man. Listen, listen. I told you time and time again. Take the mouth here. I told you time and time again, all right? I'm going to tell you again, okay? Use your jab, you understand? And go to the body. This man ain't got no leg, you understand? I say relax, calm down, man, and relax and breathe easy. Relax. Here we see where the feet did indeed get tangled up. Katalnik reaches with the jab, steps on Alexander's foot, and lands a right hand. My issue with Alexander there is. Why was Katalnik's foot outside of Alexander's lead foot so that he could step on it to land the right hand in the first place? It's the reason the right hand landed. As the southpaw fighter with the quicker feet, Alexander should have established that right foot outside of Katalnik's lead foot early and kept it there. It's interesting, Stacy McKinley in the corner of Katalnik said, you know, keep working that jab. In the last round, Katalnik, 13 of 39 with the jab. Yeah, sure, Alexander threw more punches. 
you know, by a wide margin, 42 more, but Katelnik landed more and he used that jab effectively. Well, I, I see many stranger things than a fighter as experienced and well-rounded as Katelnik upset, you know, a young American rising star. Um, I don't know that that's what we have here so far, but it's already a, a minor upset in the sense that, you know, this is a close, tough fight that's far from being determined, and Alexander was an enormous favorite. You know, I mentioned earlier we got a shot of Floyd Mayweather. Uh, we were hoping to talk with him, but uh, that interview has been declined, so we will not get a chance to talk with Floyd and find out what's going on with him. Combination from Alexander. Katelnik stays poised. Alexander landed some good shots. Too bad Floyd won't talk because a lot of questions for him. When Pacquiao refused drug testing that Floyd wanted in their first negotiation, a lot of people, I think, fairly said, hey, why doesn't he want to get drug tested? What's going on? I pointed the finger at Pacquiao, and at this point, if, as was reported originally, <laughs> first of all, there were negotiations, which Mayweather denies, and secondly, Pacquiao, oh, some good punches landed by yeah. Calvin. Left and right. Now Alexander trying to respond back. And respond, he does. I mean, some, a real good straight left hand up the middle from Alexander. Good tough exchanges here. Well, his message to the Rams this week was... Dig deep. He's digging deep right now against a very tough Katelnik here in St. Louis. And now the jab is landing for Devin, and that was setting, it's setting up the straight left hand. Left hand by Katelnik found the mark. They exchanged big shots. Close to base. Hey, get in here. Get in here, Skip. Hurry up. Get in here. Hey, listen to me, man. Hey, listen to me. Hey, you got to listen to me, man. Listen to me and listen to me good. You getting suckered. You getting suckered into, into some bullshit. Okay? Yes, yes thank you. Okay? Yeah. What's wrong, man? You all around here. This fight is still even. Listen, Jeff, when a boy lay on and get in close, don't, don't push him off. Okay, the boy can't fight up close, okay? I need you to box this whole round. Box, damn it. Box. Just win the rounds, man. Kevin Cunningham not pleased with Devin Alexander saying he's buying into some stuff. Alexander did land 22 of 56 power shots in the last round of his 103 total punches. You know, Katelnik has his moments when it feels like Alexander's coming on. Katelnik seems always able to stabilize things. 